I accept your nomination for Vice President of the United States of America. History was made last night as Kamala Harris became the first woman of color to formally join a major party's presidential ticket. The virtual Democratic National Convention included several other memorable speeches. And joining us now to recap the event is political analyst and author Dr. Avis Jones DeWeaver. Great to see you again this morning. Let's first talk about Senator Kamala Harris's speech and what stood out to you most and what do you think will make the biggest impact on voters? Well, you know, what stood out to me most is this was the moment where Kamala got to define herself. Uh, we have seen now months throughout the primary season and also uh, sort of reinvigorated with her announcement as VP, all of these misdescriptions of her, right? And she got to tell her story. But beyond that, she got to be able to specifically acknowledge who she identifies as, who are her family, and what she plans to do in this role as vice president. It was her introduction to the world, and this is just an inkling of what we're about to experience over the next 75 days. Well, you know, President Barack Obama did not hold back last night, so talk about the impact of hearing from him in that way, and it's such a pivotal time in our country. You're exactly right. I mean, this was not the Obama that we're used to. We're used to this man who's speaking in prose, who's very poetic, who's very inspirational. The Obama that we saw last night was dead serious. The Obama that we saw last night was ringing the alarm. The, the Obama that we saw last night was taking it directly to Trump and talking about the fact that this man represents an existential threat to our democracy. Uh, he played the role of, I would say, uh, sort of attack president. That's a role that we're not used to seeing him in. And having that sort of lead into the Kamala introduction, it allowed her to focus on introducing herself. Uh, in the future, I expect to see her play more of that attack role. And so the two of those specific uh, sort of introductions played off of one another. One was a more poignant attack on, uh, on Trump. The other was a more specific focus on what we can expect in the future. Mm -hmm. Now, Billie Eilish spoke briefly and performed last night. She is 18. She'll vote for the first time this year. Do you think her addition will influence the younger vote? I certainly hope so. I mean, that was a very strategic move to have someone that would appeal to younger voters because, quite frankly, younger voters are an essential element to this election. But in addition to her sort of causing excitement last night, at the same time, once Kamala finished her speech and Mary J. Blige started playing, you know, I saw Mary J. Blige trending too. So there are different demographics that were strategically focused on in terms of the stage crafting and even in terms of the entertainment that was alluded to last night. And the bottom line is that we need all of these different constituencies to show up in November in order for that ticket to win. Okay, we have 30 seconds left. So briefly tell me what you were hoping to hear from Joe Biden tonight. I want him to get very specific about policy. Uh, now he needs to lay out a vision for America so that America knows not just who they're voting against, but who they are voting for. He needs to be able to bring this constituency together. We have seen all week long that this is a very big tent party. Big tent means that there are different sort of portions of that tent that have different priorities, and he needs to be able to lift up things that would appeal to each and every one of them. Dr. Avis Jones DeWeaver, her book is called How Exceptional Black Women Lead. Great to have you here with us this morning. Until next time.